single. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but yesterday Mafa said something. Uh, we are talking about language, and she said something like, uh, "If in every country, all the world, everybody talks the same language." Do you remember? Yeah. So I thought I thought about it, and. I, f I found a language that's it's spoken all over the world, and it's for me it's it, it's magic because it's a language common for all people, right? And today I'm I'm going to talk talked about this language. Uh, it's a way of communication, and it's good for me because I love that language. Right? So I'm opening my PowerPoint here. Mm -hmm. That language is music. Music as communication. So what I am talking about is music is the further language in the world because it, everyone in the world can understand uh, the sound, the meaning of the sound, the feelings. Uh, right. The main point to do that, that I, I'd like to, to, to talk about, is music is communication, express feelings, and human beings recognize feelings. Uh, communication, the basic structure of communication is that. We have an emitter, uh, a message, and a, a destination, a person who receives that, that message. It could be anything. In the, it's a it's a basic structure of communication, right? And in this case, uh, emitter it's a music player or the instrument. The message is the sound that the instrument reprodu reproduces, right? And the receiving, when you receive the sound, you understand. Uh, you noticed the sound, you understand the music. And what do you notice when you listen to some music? You notice uh, a kind of uh, energy. It could be uh, different kinds of energy. So my second point, uh, music express feelings in this case, because when you listen to some music, you understand if the music is relaxing, if the music is um, exciting, we have different kinds of energy coming from some music, right? And I'll give you some examples, and I want to you guys to help me identificate. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Identificate which kind of feelings can we get with this music, right? Okay, watch please. Can you get a partner? What guy my favorite? bad feelings, but sad feelings uh, in general, right? The second one, just to prove that it's different energy. feelings, anger, right? Do you agree? Yes. yes. Okay. 
the next one. feelings because you uh, you are able to understand different feelings coming from so, to some mu some music uh, we understand that feelings because even if you don't play any ist instrument you understood the sound because music is our primary uh, language, not music, uh, feelings, I'm sorry. Uh, before we, we learn to speak some language, we express our feelings in somehow. We cry when we are uh, babies, we cry, we laugh, we want to something. So it's a language that we have for instinct. And that uh, shows us that music goes beyond that any language because all human beings have feelings primarily. Here are some different ways uh, of music, different parts of the world, and it's an expression anyway, the third point. So music is the further language in the world because of that. Music is communication, express feelings, and feelings are the first language of human beings. Uh, even if you don't know the, the language the composer of uh, determinated music speaks, you understand the feeling he or she had when he or she created that music, because you understand the energy of that sound, right? So that's it.